My name is James and I'm the production manager here at uh, the Repeat Plastic Facility in Ballarat. As part of being, uh, being a part of that circular economy, um, the company's undertaken um, some solar installations here in Ballarat. Uh, we have over 200 kilowatts of solar um, on the building with a few hundred solar panels on the roof. Uh, here in Ballarat, we take many, many different streams of plastic. Uh, we take post-industrial, post-consumer waste. Uh, we take it in baled form and process it here on site. We also take processed materials that come in from various different suppliers um, from around Victoria um, and up and down the East Coast. So once the material gets processed, um, it goes through a mixing process, so it's like baking a cake. We need certain ingredients to make the cake work. And then once that's done, it ends up you know, up in the production area, uh, it goes through a production process um, and then turned into a product. So whether it be a seat or a, uh, a table or some sort of civil product that goes into the ground, um, it all gets made here in Ballarat. Hi, my name's Ashley and I am a team leader at Repeat Plastics in the raw material processing department. So the red group, they come in as bales. So we get bread wrappers, we get cheese wrappers, we get, there's so many different things. And then they go through a shredder and it shreds down to this stuff here, which is just, that's just finer. And then it goes into a granulator, which granulates it even, even tinier. So there's like three stages of it getting granulated down. We have a separator that pulls apart the, the foreign objects that are getting left in the material still. So what you put in your bins comes here. I have to pull that off a, off a magnet so that it doesn't go into our machines and, and wreck our machines. So it's good if people recycle properly. We are making products for our future, for our, for our environment, and we're taking the worst waste and making that into durable, fit for purpose products. So, uh, so my name's Darren and uh, we're here at the Ballarat Replayers Processing Site and my job here is to take the raw materials and um, mix them all together and yeah, put it as something workable for those guys down there. So um, this is the Coles uh, plastic bags and we just get the rubbish, we get the rejects and uh, we try and work it into something um, presentable. We put it in a, in a, you know, like a huge mix and then yeah, and then we try and work our, our magic with it. It's like turning lead into gold. <laughs> Hi, my name's James. I'm one of the uh, maintenance engineers here at Repeat Plastics. Uh, I perform maintenance on the machines, modify some of the programs, some of our background information, and I'm also the OHS representative for the factory staff. So I also do a lot of the safety stuff uh, and have a lot of involvement with the EPA and our policies and procedures. We don't want any uh, incidents to occur involving the product, such as fire. Uh, smoke inhalation, things like that. So we need to have safe policies in place in order to deal with these things. So here we have one of our bollard production lines. Uh, the beauty of these bollard lines is that they, they are automated. So they take a lot of the man labour out of doing these things. With a lot of machines around here, people have to go in, they have to reach into dangerous machinery, they have to grab the parts out, there's a lot of physical labour. The robots take all that labour out of the equation and everything they do is repeatable. That's the beauty of a robot. So when we take it out and we adjust it, we're able to get it to cut off parts at the same length each time. We're able to put the parts into cooling racks. We're then able to assess the parts. It's great to take products that otherwise would be going to waste or going into the ground, recycle them, upcycle them. It's not an easy process, but nothing that's worth it is an easy process. So it's great to be able to be involved in something like that, uh, turning trash into treasure as it were, and doing something great for the environment. I'm Ram, I'm the manager for the RRC, the Replas Resource Centre, and we are the fabrication facility for Replas, as well as the distribution. Ballarat is the main hub of the business where they mould the products, so it's injection moulded, and the products come to the RRC in the raw form of slats, sticks and profiles. And then over here, we fabricate them into fit-for-purpose products. Once we get the products from Ballarat, uh, once we unload them off the truck, they get stored here. This is our warehouse. We've got the uh, pick and pack sector. So this is our little uh, R&D site where we do 3D printing, where we can test print equipment, armrests for an example, before we go ahead and make a whole heap of armrests, we can try printing them to decide which design we like the most. 
Behind you would be our material flow tester. And this is what we test our material to get a good reading in terms of MFI to see whether is this product going to be suitable before we commit to tons of material. We get a couple of hundred grams and we can test them. And this is a sample of materials we test. This is actually face mask. This is our uh, finished products where they've been cut and routed before we assemble them into furniture and they've been stored according to different colors. That's our mods department where we modify bollards and whether it's reflectors, whether it's holes, uh, to suit a pole, to suit wire, just whatever the customer needs. And at the moment, we're drilling a couple of holes to suit uh, some smaller poles in there. And over here to my left is where we do the more custom furniture side of things, whether it's dog agility, fitness, planter boxes, just the more complex custom uh, fabrication. The signage. Where, where, you saw, where you'll see the CNC machine, as well as design. Some of the green initiatives here at the RRC, are we've got solar panels, and also we are moving from gas and petrol forklifts into electric forklifts, where we generate power via solar and we charge our forklifts using the solar energy gathered. The benefits of working with recycled material is, as we doing the right thing, uh, and we are able to divert lots of waste that would end up in landfill. There aren't that many recycled plastic manufacturers around Australia or the world because recycled plastic material is not easy to work with. You might get it right the first time around, but the second time you try and do exactly the same thing, the material changes, which creates new challenges. So it's the constantly evolving and changing world in terms of recycled plastic. Hi, I'm Christy and I'm the Environmental Scientist here at the REPLAS Environmental Centre located in Caram Downs, Victoria. Here at the REC we offer educational tours about plastics, recycling and the circular economy. Whilst on a tour here at Red the REPLAS Environmental Centre, we start in our tunnel. So the first room we talk about the history of plastic, what it's made from and the, all the problems that it's causing in our world today. In this room, we talk about the impact that plastic has on our environment. We talk about how it harms our marine life. We talk about how it spreads around the ocean. And we also talk about the impact of microplastics, not only on our marine life, but also in our diets as humans. In this section of the tour, we talk about landfill and current waste disposal options that are available to us in Australia. We talk about that how long our plastic lasts in landfills and also how much we as Australians are creating uh, every year in our plastic waste. We also discuss our recycling options that are available to us at home and talk about what can and can't go into our recycle bins. In this room here is all about plastic. So we discuss the different types of plastic and how they're made. We also talk about, in length, the Red Cycle program, how it was established and what sorts of materials can be recycled through Red Cycle, where they can be recycled and where the Red Cycle material will end up. This is the room where we talk about the magic that we do here at Replas. So we talk about the materials that we use to produce our products how we do that, we have examples of the material that we use and how we make our fit for purpose products. And this is our bag cave where we've got all of our soft plastic food packaging and plastic bags. In this room, we watch some short videos that Replas has made talking all about the circular economy. Now that we're out of the tunnel, we're into our showroom where we can see all of the different products that we make from the recycled plastic. Now I'd like to introduce you to one of our robots. His name's Gary. He's an example of the robots that we use in our factory in Ballarat.
We have a variety of groups that come and visit the rec. We have a large variety of brand owners that come through. So that's businesses and corporations that want to come learn about plastic recycling, how they can make a difference. And that includes partners of Red Group who want to see where their soft plastics are ending up and the difference that they are making uh, with plastic recycling. We also have a variety of school groups, so anywhere from kinder kids all the way up to VCE students. We also offer tours to community groups such as Rotary Clubs or Scout Groups. Um, we also do aged care facilities, uh, bringing their senior citizens through on tours. Anybody who has an interest in plastic recycling and making a difference. So educational excursions like we have here at the REC are so important because we're learning about our local issues, but that is also translatable to a global scale. So it's all about what impact you can have in your community and what you do at home and how that translates to the bigger picture. You can book a tour by visiting our website. So it's www.myrec.com.au and you can book online or you can call us here at REPLAS. Hi, I'm Mark Jacobson, Managing Director of Replace. During 2020, especially during the COVID, we were looking for an innovative solution of a scalable measurement on post-consumer plastic. We came up with Polyrock, which is basically an aggregate replacement in concrete footpaths. It's the first time Polyrock, a sustainable alternative for concrete, has been poured in Australia. Collected through a red cycle program, the plastic was then sent to a local concrete plant in Western Victoria to be transformed. 1.2 million pieces of soft plastic are collected at coal stalls every day. Polyrock has the potential to use more than 100,000 tonnes of soft plastic from landfill a year if used in commercial concrete projects across Australia. The Polyrock doesn't give off microplastics, it binds into the concrete and is fully recyclable at the end of its life. One of Replaz's great strength over the 30 year history is we produce over 250 different products. Replaz is really privileged to be part of the circular economy, working with corporations, councils, the public through education and furthermore creating fit for purpose products.